No, just found it. <laughs> you and everyone else. It, it looks like the offensive line's getting getting healthier. Um, to be able to kind of survive, I guess, for lack of a better word, the past couple of weeks when you were banged up and had guys moving around, how does that speak to what Coach Matsko is doing? And just well, I think it speaks very highly of what Coach Matsko and Coach Wharton are doing with the with the O line, and I think it also speaks about the things that we've tried to do consciously in terms of making sure we have guys that are getting those types of practice reps early on. You know, whether it be when we start with OTAs, when we we get into mini camp, when we have training camp. Uh, preseason games, regular season games, regular season workouts, just making sure guys are getting an opportunity to, to, to be prepared just in case something happens. Um, you know, we've always kind of felt since I've been here that at some point you were going to have to use your young guys, so you got to make sure they're ready. Um, I think it speaks very well to, to being able to find those kind of guys and then get them coached up, trained, and then uh, to the player themselves for the hard work they've put into it. I, I really do. I think it's kind of all together to sit there and, you know, and try and say, hey, it's this or this or this. I think it's, it's all of it coming together um, as, a, as a whole, as a unit, and then being able to take it and put it on the field. And then kind of silver lining, all those guys got all those game reps and are able to provide depth, I would imagine. Absolutely. And, and again, part of it, too, is when we talk about it, I know it's one of your guys' favorite subjects is position flexibility, being able to play more than one spot. Um, and I think if you understand, you know, what a guard and tackle, you know, what the guard has to do when he's working with a tackle, that helps if you end up playing tackle. So I think those are important. Hey, Ron, um, the, the hot hand in terms of a left tackle uh, obviously can, can kind of be important as well with Dennis um, and Daryl Williams both being healthy as well as mm -hmm. Trey Turner seeming like he's going to play. What, can you give some insight on the decision-making process there? Well, I think at the end of the day, we're going to play the guys that are healthy and ready to roll, more so than anything else. Um, and that's, that's, that's probably the important thing. Um, you know, just a good football team that we're playing against, especially their front seven. So, you know, we've got to make sure that the guys out there is, is the guy that's ready to play and give us the best chance to win. Ron, you mentioned earlier this week that it was still a little too early to know then if Cam would be making the trip or not. Have you guys made a decision as far as that's concerned yet? Um, yeah, you know, and we're um, – Looking at all things that he's doing, I mean, he's, he's, he's doing exactly what we need for him. And, uh, you know, he'll continue to pr proceed in that, uh, in that fashion. Would you get him traveling this week? Um, yeah, we can, you know, and we'll see. What? <laughs> <laughs> you'll, know, you'll know tomorrow when we leave. <laughs> James Bradbury's continuing to keeps taking steps in his progression. I mean, yes. talk about his progression as a, as a player and where he's at right now. Well, I'll, I'll say this. I mean, the young man started since his rookie year and has done a great job. I mean, it, that, that's the thing you really love is that, you know, he, he's, he's what we had hoped he'd be. And, and he just keeps getting better and better. And, 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 and you see his, his, his abilities keep growing and, and his technique, the style, the way he does things. Um, I think, it, again, it's, it's, a, it, it's been a, a real good testament to how hard he works, to the effort he puts into what he does, the professionalism at which he approaches things. Um, you know, he's had, a, he's had a number of different position coaches, and he's learned something from each one of them. And, and I think, you know, he's now at that position and at that time frame in his career that, you know, he's, he's taking those steps because of all the things that he's gone through. And, um, and I think that really has a lot to do with his development and growth. It's just that he's taken something from everybody he's worked with. You've, uh, you've coached some cornerbacks who are on the different end of the spectrum in terms of being vocal. And he's, uh, he's, he's kind of the exception maybe. He just doesn't talk a lot, but he just kind of goes about his business. I mean. Yes. Um, and, and he is, you know, he, he's, it, it's funny because I, I remember having a defensive back that, um, that we coached a long time ago when I was with another team. And... He was what, what we ended up calling a lunchbox guy. I just tell you, bring your lunchbox, there's a lot of work to do. He didn't have to say much, he didn't have to do much. He just showed up and worked hard. And, and I've always kind of looked at guys and said, okay, that's a lunchbox guy. And it, it's funny because in my office, I have a lunchbox. I put it up there just to remind me of those types of players. Sounds like that's one of the highest compliments you can give a player. Yes. You know, because to me, it, it, it's really not about what you say as much as about what you do. You know, it, it's about what you put on the field. And, and when, you know, some guys put it on the field and they talk about it, good for them. Uh, there's also some guys that put it on the field and don't say a word, just go about their business. What are you having to prepare for most on the offensive side and defensive side and preparing for the 49ers? 
Um, I think it all starts up front. That's one of the things that we talked about today, in fact, is in, 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 in the initial meeting was everything's going to start up front, and that's just the way it is. I mean, this is, this is going to be what I think is going to be a, a physical point of attack game. So uh, that was one of the emphasis in, in, in our meetings this morning. I think Dorch will handle the return stuff this week. Really. We'll see. Uh, doing a nice job. You know, we, we've we've got several guys catching punts, and you know he's 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 out there working at it and doing a nice job. So again, we'll uh, we'll continue to prepare and get ready for these guys. Is Reggie, another guy you might look at there. Um, no, um, Reggie's more of a kick returner than he is a punt returner. What's, what's the skill set differentiation between those two for you? Uh, a guy catches punts a little more naturally as opposed to a guy that, that you know, is catching kickoffs where the ball is tumbling over the top. Coach, how much do you think that having veteran guys be able to provide the right kind of example, so like Bruce Irvin, Mario Addison, for a younger guy like Brian Burns? Um, I think it's really important, especially now. I mean, um, you know, Burns has got the, the hand. And, and when you sit there and you watch guys like Mario and, and, and Bruce who, who are coming off of you know, injuries or, or have you know, nicks and bumps and bruises and just work them way, their way through it, you know, sometimes a guy like Brian can see that and go, you know what, I can get through this as well. Um, the professionalism in, in, in the way they approach things I think is also important, whether it be in the locker room, in the training room, in the weight room, whether it be in meetings. The way they handle themselves in the meetings is also nothing. You know, guys that are asking questions, that guys that'll, you know, well, hey, hey, wait, I got, I got a question. You know, let's, I want to make sure this is correct. That helps the young guy because then the young guy realizes, hey, it's okay to say something to me. It's okay to stop the coach and ask a specific question, and that's what you want the right types of leaders to teach these young guys, and that's how to do it the right way, you know, and and make sure that they're getting all the information they need, getting all their questions answered. Because so many of these young guys, they know how to play football, but how to be like a professional football right. player. There's, you know, there's a, uh, there's an old saying that um, you know a bunch of coaches I play for you say some guys love being. NFL football players, some guys love playing football. And you want them to be the guys that love playing the game. And, and that's what you really want. And that's what you're hoping your veteran guys are showing these guys. And that's how to play football, how to play the game. You know, it, it, it's interesting because one of the neat things that I learned early in my career was how to watch tape. I was being told, don't watch, don't watch the game, don't watch tape like a fan. Don't follow the ball. You know, if, 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 if there's a big run, what's the reason why? You know, what happened to create that big run? You know, this guy had an interception. Well, why? What did he do to put himself in position to get the interception as opposed to, oh, wow, what a great interception. So, you know, you, you want these guys to learn early on how to do things, you know, as opposed to what's happening. Well, I think you guys still have a roster spot. Is that something that will be filled kind of based on need? I think once we get past this week, you know, there's some things that, that we have to look at and some positions that we're, we're most certainly talking about, and we'll go from there. I hope we've asked you about Garoppolo so far this week. What, what about him impresses you? What are some of the things that he does? Particularly? Well, I think his decision making. You know, he takes care of the football for the most part. Um, he makes good, quick decisions. He, he's athletic, a lot more athletic than people give him credit for. Um, he does have a good arm and, 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 and can make good, good throws. He, he's, he, he delivers a very catchable ball to the receivers. And and you know, like I said, he just he makes you know, he makes when guys make quick good decisions, they, they keep the pressure off, and, and he's done a nice job of that. Good. Cool. We're good? Cool. Thank you, guys.